Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe Photoshop CC 2021. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the sky replacement feature. Here is a photo that I took this morning with my iPhone in old Naples, Florida. To quickly replace a sky in Photoshop CC 2021, all you have to do is go to the edit menu and select sky replacement. I have nothing selected in this photo I'm just gonna click on it. Photoshop's gonna analyze the photo and automatically replace the sky. It's as easy as that. To see a before and after at any time, just uncheck this little preview. That's before. This is with the new sky. To change a sky, just click on the little drop down menu next to the preview. Photoshop comes with these default skies. You can also import your own skies and create sky groups. Just click on the little folder to create a new group. Click on the little plus if you want to navigate your hard drive and bring in a file. If you select the sky, you can delete it by clicking on the trash can. If you want to change the preview size to make it easier to see the skies, you can drag the slider. You can also make this window a little bit bigger. Skies are Photoshop presets. So you can import them, you can export them, you can share with others. If you want to export any skies as a preset, just select them. Click on the gear icon, you'll see the option to import. You can click export selected skies and it'll save them as a dot sky preset. So again, to change the sky, just click on the drop down, select the sky, then just click off of it. And now you can make adjustments. In the top left, there's some tools. There's a move tool. So you can just click on the sky if you ever needed to adjust it. There's a brush tool. If you want to extend or reduce the sky area, if it doesn't fill in enough. There's a hand tool, there's a zoom tool. And if you hover your cursor over any of these, it'll tell you what the slider does. So drag the sliders to get the look and the feel the way you want it. For a before and after, just uncheck the preview. This is the before, here's the after. And when you're ready to output to the layers, just click on this. I'm gonna select new layers, then click okay. If you look over here in the layers, Photoshop creates the sky replacement group. It has all these adjustment layers. It has all the masks, making it very easy for you to get it exactly the way you want it. So if you didn't get it perfect in the sky replacement filter, you can make all of your adjustments over here in the layer panel very easily. So here's another photo that I took this morning with my iPhone. If I wanna replace the sky, I do not have to select anything in the photo. I just have to go to the edit menu and select sky replacement. Photoshop will remember your last choice. So this is at clouds, but if you wanna change the sky, just click on the little drop down. How about I add a rainbow? Pretty cool. So find the sky that you want, make the adjustments, use the before and after. If you ever wanna reset the sliders back to the way they were when you started, hold the option key. You'll see the cancel turns to reset. When you're ready to output to the layers, just click on this, we'll select new layers. This will give us the most flexibility. Click OK. Photoshop is gonna create this replacement group. You can make all the adjustments you need and you still have your original on the bottom. My name is Mike Murphy. That is how to use the sky replacement feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2021. Cheers.